Hey guys, Carter here with another video. So today I will be showing you my gameplay with uh, the Masha Fried Chicken, also known as the Bird Gallery deck. This is called the Masha Fried Chicken because of the amount of birds in this deck, like the Fleet Feather Tracker, Petricide Broadwing, the the product of swifting flight and the strongest bird of them all galio by the way uh this deck is a little bit strong in the current meta but the problem with this deck is if you did not draw galio it is hard to win a match because uh galio is very strong and having galio on the on the board with a lot of chickens will make sure that galio will flip and a flip galio guarantees that you can win the game unless opponent has a very insane uh, combination of cards that can let that can sneak in damage to you especially if opponent has burn damage i think that's the only way a uh, flip galio on board can win but other than that it is guaranteed that if having galio on turn seven and flipping it at the end of turn 7 is a guaranteed win because of also how how its effect works that if you if any of your units is damaged you'll get you'll get a rally and by having rally if you flip galio that means that you have a very wide board and you have a lot of units that supports the idea that you flip your galio so that is how that is how uh, it is very strong to have a uh, flip galio on turn seven and potentially wins you the game so for the for the early game we have beard fleet feather tracker duran sculptor esmos breath of the world and Petricide broadwing these units some of these are challenger and this allows you to to trade with the board and also some archamp blockers like beard it allows you to trade units on the board and for the mid game you you'll be dropping vanguard redeemer if some of your unit is destroyed or vanguard sergeant to get a free for the masha this allows you to have at least a strong mid game board and since you are a bard deck i uh, luckily you'll get a random good buff from your units that and this this deck has a lot of challengers so a random good buff for a challenger will enable you to potentially two for one some of the units from opponent another card that we have to uh, cons another card that we have to uh, look forward in this deck is swift swift wing flight because of its effect that when you attack, you'll get the, your challenging units will get plus one plus one. And that is very good for your challenging units because it enables you to at least have an additional one HP. And that one HP could help you in at least saving your saving your challenger so that uh, by the time you have another chance to attack, you have your challenger and you get your challenger can still challenge some of the units that it has a chance of killing it into okay so that is for the for the swifting flight okay and for the removals we have concerted strike and single combat so these are your removals in the deck in case you need to remove some of the some of uh a threat from opponent we just use these cards okay so in this deck uh let me show you my stats i have i have a 50 percent win rate on the deck so we are currently in master here so i have 10 matches five wins five loss in the matches that i lost i did not draw a bard on that i mean i did not draw a galio on that and if you did not if you were not able to get your galio on this deck it is it is hard to win 
and of course uh still the deck has some of our unfavored matchups and for the unfavored matchup of course it will be hard for you to win on that so let's look at the the profile of galio bard how it is how it works in other decks okay so for galio bird here it is good into this decks team caitlin vega senna action elise and fizophilios as aurelia severe action and shivana aurelian soul but this is bad to some of the decks like burn decks the raven Zion. also it is bad into lisandra because lisandra and thralls has a bigger units jace lux because of it has a lot of removals and elis viego elis elis viego this is bad against this because it has a bigger units and it also has this integrate and vengeance to remove your to remove your important challengers okay and so that is uh the that is the matchup that you have to uh, look forward into. Generally, the Masha decks are bad into Noxus because because Noxus decks has a lot of removals. And in the Masha decks, if your important units are removed, that would be bad for you. That would be bad for your board states. So that is my explanation regarding the Masha Prejigen. So, uh, I have example gameplay to showcase how the deck works in Masters, right? So, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Hmm. Papi Tariq. I think I'll keep Galio. Or not. I don't have to just have to look for the early early units to contest the board okay we got the galio i think we're good Ours is the one true light. We get, if we get galio <laughs> we'll win the game that's the trend oh my god we have to pass pass back Punish transgressions. oh my god Okay, we'll be taking 5 damage. Every work we'll grab the stop 4 plus the Petrus Hydro Gene. Oh my god. Oh, we have mana for concerted strike. Shall we use it? Today's the day I find that hero. Let's remove the puppy before it became a problem. A little reinforcement at the scene. Okay, that's fine. Please, oh, let's... So we'll try swifting light. I will grab Swifting Light. Let's look for the Silver Wing Vanguard. If he has Rally, I think he'll use that. If he has Shield, if he has Barrier, I think he'll use that. If not, uh, I think we'll challenge the Solari Soldier. And then Silver Wing Flight will challenge the Petricide Broadwing. That should be that should be it. Okay. 
like this this should be the the play okay all right okay that's fine another zero zero I would love to silver wing banter that raise your weapon sunwood okay let's drop the so that is protege oh that's five Frank, five five beauty in the play well we have to block it Let's grab the sergeant. Discipline and steal. Okay, so for the next turn, I think we are going to drop swifting, swift twin flake, as well as Okay, let's drop Galio here and then calculate how much do we need. 29. So we can try to kill the these elusive units. It should be enough. You're covered. That's fine. Harry, okay, you are let's, let's kill these two elusive units. Okay. Opponent needs to have a uh, concerted. Does he have rally? Does he have rally? He has rally, I think. Okay, we flip Galio, we win the game. We flip, if we flip Galio, we will win the game. That's basically how the deck works. Another Galio, another assurance. GG. That's how strong the deck is. So in the event that we did not get any value, we lose the game. What is this? Is this a dress profile? I think so. We can keep the Lauren Protege. Lauren Protege is a good chime target we already have a fleet feather trapper so we'll keep the current protege trapper this turn i think they should be open okay six give me some chimes nine chimes give me some chimes not let's drop the sergeant next turn it should be 15 oh okay if he has tops we'll block okay we'll drop the sweet thing like give me some chimes please Go for the Silver Wing Vanguard. Very good chime target. Our chime is already 12, so I think we can get it next time. Okay. Mystic Shot. But who's the target? Mystic Shot. Okay, that's fine. Ballistic ball, interesting. My next turn should be swifting light. Another swifting light. Oh no. So we can go the run sculptor plus the run protege. The run sculptor and then the run protege. Bard is 2 out of 20. That's so small. 
You dropped something. Okay. Try the Masha. It did not even get Who does not know the name, a chime for that. We already have 15. Half of our deck has chime and we still can't get any. Oh my god. The chime is in the bottom of our deck. That's so annoying. The chime is at the bottom of our deck. What are we? A deep deck? Let's drop the fifteen flight. Uh, blinding as well should be good here. Yeah, blinding as well. Oh my god. Insane. That's a wasted. Is this a catastrophe deck? That's a wasted. A little reinforcement at the seams. A slight adjustment. Okay, uh. Wasted for the match. Okay, the first time. I'm playing more time! Uh. So we'll go for the Masha next turn. I think that should be good. Can you improve perfection? Resolve. Join me if you want to live. Safety disengage. Tell you. Let's attack. Let's remove some of his units and then we'll grab Jali afterwards. It should be a good play. So we'll challenge this one. We'll challenge this one. Challenge this one. We'll challenge this one. Then we'll attack with this one. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Then we'll go. Okay, uh, golden ages for the this one. We'll get a scout attack. Then we'll attack with more units afterwards. Then after that we have that. I think this is GG. I think he'll stun. He'll stun it. That is fine if he stuns that. Okay, mark of the store. Okay, uh if one of our units will be removed. Okay, let's go for the scout attack. Botokung! Wah! Okay. This is like, uh... Collector of all the trash cards. He put it on his own deck. Target this with this one. Next turn we'll drop the yo, it will be flipped. That's fine. D plus two. Okay, we'll drop Gario. GG. 33. GG. I think it's GG. You can use the... That... To remove the spell sheet for Galio. But still, Galio will keep. So we don't have any problem with that. 
magic goes in, might comes out. Might comes out. Single combat. Single combat. What's that? <laughs> Opponent is like playing a uh, a trash deck. GG What's that? Something surprising. Show me the cards. Show me the cards. Stun Galio 2 mana. Stun Bard 4 mana. Okay. How many? Exactly that. GG Boom 